Stop. So, hi. Who hi. are you? I'm Dave St. Pierre. I'm, um, I don't like to say that I'm a choreographer because I'm using dance and theater and performance to, to create my show. So, um, so I'm someone who just uses a lot of stuff and creates you with this. Okay, and <laughs> where are you based at? I'm based in Montreal, mm -hmm. and um, but I, I'm not often in Montreal. Like I'm always like in tour with with my dance company. So cool. So you're a lot away from home. Uh, yes, yes. Basically. Maybe like six or seven months a year. I'm 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 far away home. Yeah, cool. So now we're in uh, Dresden, Peschbehaus Hellerau. How how is it here? How is it to? What do you think? How will the performance be? You know, I've been here f like 17 years ago. Oh. I was performing at the Marie Wigman Theater, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, you still have some ideas of how the, the city is going to look, and mm -hmm. it changed so much. Yeah. But the old Dresden for sure stayed the same. So I have some reference. Mm -hmm. But um, and now that I come here in this theater at the Hellero, this is a really beautiful theater. I'm really happy to, to present my two shows here. Uh, it's a really beautiful city. I, I really like this place. And uh, yeah, and yeah, I really like this place. Cool. So let's not talk about unity. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah because this is always the same questions that yeah. I'll, I'll come over Absolutely. and over. Absolutely. No, I, I believe that. No, I want to know some essential points of your work you're showing here. I'm always like, I, I'm, I'm, the, the first thing is pushing the limits. Mm -hmm. I hate when uh, dancers say to me, do I start with the leg, the, the, the left leg or the right leg? Mm -hmm. I say, I don't care about that. I just want you to do it and just go for it. Just give the energy as crazy, mm -hmm. you know? For me, this is the most important thing. I, I don't care if they are tec good technical dancer or amazing actors. I, I don't, I don't want to see that. I want to see monster on stage. I want to see um, beast, you know? Mm -hmm. This is what I want to see. This is, for me, this is the most important thing I've done that I see. All the other things, I can manage it, you know? So, uh, yeah. so how does the, uh, I don't know, working process look like? How do you develop material? It's really crazy. <laughs> it's really crazy all the time. We laugh a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I always come with some ideas and with some music and with some video clips and all this stuff. And I just show them all this stuff. And at one point, they, when there's uh, the second rehearsal, or, or um, they, they just come back with other music or other ideas. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a big it's it's a big exchange okay. between us. But for sure, I'm the I don't, I, I don't like to say the master of it, but I, I'm... You have the overview. Yes, yeah. I am the one that chooses that it's, it's going to look like that, you yeah, know? Yeah. And for sure, for sure, I'm really open to to, um, to all this energy that they give to me during the creation. So it... it, it I have my, 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 my first idea, but it can go like oh, completely mm -hmm. crazy after. Mm -hmm. So I think for a creator, it's really important to stay open mm -hmm. to all this these things that can happen. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a mixture between you giving movements and them, or everything comes from them? No, it's me and them, and sometimes mm -hmm. it's just me and one other dancer, one other actors. Okay. Uh, and, and I'm always using their energy also. So some, some of the people are more um, like into the hip hop, so maybe I'm using some of the of this kind of movement with more contemporary dance, with more, more kung fu things. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm always mm -hmm. trying to mix everything together. Yeah. So it kind of looks uh, unique, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, what is your relationship with your dancers? How does it look like? Yeah, like you have a big family or...? It's a big family, but it's also... we. What I'm asking to dancers are really, really hard emotionally sometimes. Mm -hmm. So you have to be, you have to build um, a relationship in the, the confidence. Mm -hmm. You have to be really, really confident and respectful also. Yeah. Uh, for me, this is really important because like when you're asking someone to just vomit on stage or pee on stage, it just not happen like that, you know? Mm -hmm. You have to explain why you are doing it and you, and you cannot do this after two days of rehearsal for, with a new dancer, you know? <laughs> no. So now all these people work for me for like 10 years, five years, four years, so mm -hmm. they know already and they follow me into my, 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 my path where, where mm -hmm. I'm going, you know? So we just, we build together these things and, and we always in, in, in every show, we push the limits every every, every time. So um, yeah, so it's uh, yeah, it's just.
now we, we are in, in, in a point that we can do anything. Mm -hmm. um, I would be interested in how did you develop your physicality through the years of having this company? Um, like a very specific style kind of there's not a really specific style okay because like like I said sometime some then mm -hmm. and it depends on the piece and how like the last piece it was like I was two people that I really find really interesting the way they move mm -hmm. and the first show it was completely some someone else mm -hmm. and it's 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 always a mood you know mm -hmm. When I create a piece, I say, oh, this is what I want, so let's go that way, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there's no really specific things. Uh, okay. Um, in general, what are your influences? Oh, I love films. Mm -hmm. I love films. Uh, I, I used to study in, in cinema mm -hmm. to, to become a filmmaker, but it changed. Uh, and, uh, but this is, I think, my first thing that I really, really like. But not like big blockbuster kind of stuff. I, I, I don't like that kind of stuff. But I really like like really an underground kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, like Lars von Trier. But now mm -hmm. Lars von Trier is really like blockbuster. But because now he's hiring Nicole Kidman. But, <laughs> but it's still yeah. Lars von Trier. You know, he's pushing the limits all the time. And uh, so, um, yeah. So this is a... Uh, and after it... I'm, 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 I, I can't just hear one music one time and, go, and it gonna goes like, this is the song of the show, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, music, cinema, um, poems, um, books, and it, it, it becomes, yeah. it's, it comes like, yeah. from, uh, from everywhere. So. Yeah. Yeah. And do you have a, like a musician who's making music for you or you take music which is already uh, existing? So, both. Mm. Both. When when I need something really really special, I'm asking, and I'm doing some some music also, some oh. stuff. So, uh, but I'm not a musician, but I'm trying some stuff, and I <laughs> like to do this. So. And you also do uh, dance for camera, or that's dance not? for camera? Yeah. Uh, I'm not yet there. Okay. I, I I did some some stuff on TV for sure, but not that I was like wow, you know. Mm -hmm. But there's la this last video clip of this uh, French Canadian singer, Yann Perrault, Le Bruit des Bottes. He, uh, he asked me if I want to choreograph this, and I'm really proud of this video clip. Really, really. So nice. Just go see it. <laughs> yeah, cool. You have to write it down later. Um, would you say that um, it is a goal for you when the audience comes and sits here and sees the performance that they have a different body perception afterwards? Maybe not about a body perception, but about a human being. Mm -hmm more of human yeah. being because for me it's really important to I don't I really don't mind if they are really um, happy after the show or they are really mad about the show what I want is a reaction mm -hmm. I don't want people to go out and just oh I, I've just seen a show <laughs> no because so, some people after this show they are react so bad you know and they scream at me are you not the choreographer this is not dance and I'm like I like this reaction mm -hmm. a lot a lot mm -hmm. Also, I like the others, like, uh, wow, I was touched and they cry and so So, uh, but I, I prefer a really hard reaction than just uh, a medium reaction. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, sure, if you put something very clear, like a naked body on stage, um, the reaction you get is mostly very honest, mm -hmm. I yes, guess. I, I hope so, yeah. I hope so, because no. I, I saw some show with naked people and it was not really, oh, it was mm. kind of just for, you know, but... Um, it's, la, la, it's, it's just the way you use the mm. nudity on stage, that's it. Yeah. yeah. And do you feel that it's different in every city you go or every place? Uh, yes, it's different. Yes, mm. it's different. Not, there's not a big difference, but sometimes we feel that the... But it's funny because sometimes the audience is really old. Mm -hmm. We just see like white head everywhere. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm, and I'm impressed that these people come to see my show because they know how it's going to look like. Yeah. You know, they heard about it in the newspaper and so on. And I'm like, and they liked it, you know? And I'm like, that's a good thing, that's yeah. a good thing. But usually the crowd is really heteroclit. Mm -hmm. This is so different. There's young and old and, and, uh, and there's hipsters and there's a rock and roll thing, you know? So uh, there's many different people and, yeah. I, and, and I really like that I can catch a really, yeah. and a really um, 
different crowd. Yeah, but you wouldn't say it's different in Europe than in I don't know. Not really, not really. Canada. Not really. It's 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 kind of the same. Yeah, cool. Okay. Ah, uh, last question. Yes. What's next? What's next? Yeah. What's next about this? No, I mean, what your plans are? Ah, my next plans, pieces. Uh, my, uh, I'm working. I'm working on the third piece of the of the trilogy mm -hmm. because now this is a peu tendresse and la pornographie des armes, and uh, now I'm, I'm I'm working on that piece really hard, really really hard because now people know that the, these two pieces exist, and mm -hmm. so I have a little pressure. So the show should be good. So it it talks about. Um, uh, Coup de foudre, but I don't know how, there's no translation for coup de foudre in, in English. Maybe in, in German there's one, so, uh, but coup de foudre is like um, for, uh, love at first sight, but it doesn't yeah. make sense for me, love at first sight. Okay. Coup de foudre is like um, lighting, yeah. like a stroke lighting, yeah. I think it's yeah. called. So it's really, it's really, it's really, like, it's really hard yeah. to have this big coup de foudre for someone. Yeah, 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 I know. So uh, you just vomit, you cry all the time because you're so madly in love and so I'm, I'm, I'm going to work with that, that kind of, 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 uh, of things. And so when is the, the premiere? I don't know. Uh, I don't know yet. We have co-producers and they are fighting now to, 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 to know which one's going to have the, the, the premiere. But I think it's going to be in 2012. Okay. So let's see, let's see. Because I, I don't want to get in the, the war, you know, so mm. just go for it. <laughs> Become clear. Cool, so I thank you very much. Thank you to you. I wish you a very good time here, have a good performance, yeah. and thanks for your time. Thank you.